First person shooters are very popular today, but that was not always the case. You had your dooms and your quakes, but the release of Goldeneye, that was something else. Developed by Rareware for the Nintendo 64 in 1997, this might be one of the most influential and important FPS games of all time. Iconic sound design and clever level design makes this game worthy of a playthrough to this day. But it's not as simple as it seems. Goldeneye only ever came out on a Nintendo 64 and it does not hold up to today's standards at all. Low frame rates and awkward controls because of only having one analog stick plagues the original release, making it really hard to get back to. After a while you can look past the controls and performance and still enjoy the game, but is there a better way to play this game? Turns out that Microsoft and Rare developed a remastered release of Goldeneye for the Xbox 360, but it never saw the light of day. The reason being licensing issues. Luckily for us, the full remaster was leaked on the internet and can be played on a modded Xbox 360 or an Xbox 360 emulator called Xenia. Using RB you can switch between the new and old graphics, like in Halo Anniversary Edition. Along with 60fps and better graphics, using the Xbox 360 controller is a godsend compared to the original N64 controllers. But with this in mind, what is the best way to play GoldenEye 007? I will be going over every way to play and compare them. I will keep controls, graphics, performance and features in mind. Without further ado, let's get into it. Yes, the Nintendo 64 release is the only official release and it is at the lowest rank. Well, let me explain. Many people will argue that the original and the most authentic way to play is always the best way to play. Well, I personally don't really see it like that. The performance on the Nintendo 64 is all over the place and the resolution is just 240p. If you're playing 4 people split screen, you can barely even see what you're doing. There are multiple controller options to personalize it to your liking, but it will never be super accurate and comfortable like it would be on a modern controller. That's why I think it's not the best way to play. Don't get me wrong, it's still playable, but probably the worst release, which is a shame because it literally is the only official way to play. The unreleased remastered game is better in every single way. The new graphics look way better, except for some levels here and there that derive too far from the original feel and look. Even in the case that you don't like the new graphics at all, you can switch at any point in time to the original old graphics, just the text and HUD stays in higher resolution which is a great detail. The Xbox 360 controller works great and it's a shame that this remastered stayed unreleased. If you're interested in playing this on your Xbox 360, you'll first need to mod your Xbox 360 and you'll need to download the leaked game online. I am not allowed to link the game to you, but it shouldn't be too difficult to find it through Google. One last note about the remaster that I want to talk about is that it's not complete and will have small glitches and bugs. Using the Community Edition updater, you can add fixes that the community made. If you never tried this version out, I really do recommend it. I decided to put all the Nintendo 64 emulators in one ranking and I chose for the 1964 emulator to be the best. This emulator is optimized just to play GoldenEye 007 and Perfect Dark. Using this emulator you can only play using the original graphics which might make you think why is this way better than playing it on the Xbox 360. Well, it's personal preference. Don't get me wrong, I used to play a ton of FPS games on console with controllers and I have nothing against using a controller for FPS games. But playing GoldenEye specifically with a mouse and keyboard really is the best way to play in my opinion. Getting the emulator to run is very simple. Just download the special mouse and keyboard build on this GitHub page, supply your own ROM and then just run the game. Pressing the 4 key on your keyboard will enable mouse support. Have fun. The best way to play is using the Xbox 360 emulator called Xenia. Most games don't run perfectly on this emulator, but Goldeneye is surprisingly stable. 
Using a modern controller, it should run the same as it would on the Xbox 360 console. So why is this way the best way to play? Well, there is a special Xenia build that will enable mouse and keyboard support, making this the best way to play by far. If you've never ever played GoldenEye, I really do recommend playing this way. Playing with 4 people split screen is still possible using this emulator. If you were to connect 4 mice and 4 keyboards, everyone would be able to control their own character using a mouse and keyboard against each other. In my opinion that's just crazy and it works great and it's awesome. I hope that you enjoyed this video. GoldenEye is one of those games that has a huge following but people don't really get into it anymore because they only know about the N64 release. I really do recommend giving this game a shot if you never have before. Thanks for watching.